Hi, this is Paul. Uh, I want to make a video. Uh, hopefully, this video I won't ramble too much in this video. Basically, about Just League, which is coming out next Friday, and uh, I got my two tickets to see it. Um, I'm going to see it two times. I mentioned this before in other videos. But I'm going to see it back to back on Friday. I'm going to see it in IMAX and then at the AMC theaters, and then I'm going to see it in uh, 3D. Um, I was trying to get the AMC Prime tickets, but those tickets were sold out. That's the ticket. That's the theater. That's you know. That, you know the seats, you know the seats that can swivel back and all that stuff. It's basically they basically took off the IMAX 3D theater and they made it a prime theater, and then so you can see stuff in 3D and stuff. But I, I got a ticket for IMAX, a seat in IMAX, and then a seat in 3D. Okay, and then I'm going to see it also again on Saturday, uh, and hopefully maybe I get a chance to see it in prime. I, it wasn't playing in the AMC Prime theater on Saturday, just on that Friday. So, which is, I guess, just, you know, opening day, but hopefully I can see it in the uh, AMC Prime Theater. But anyway, what I want to talk about in general is, I guess, this has been a long journey to this uh, movie and my feelings on it and the feelings with, about the movie in general, the DCU and Zack Snyder and just a few, and, you know, just a few things in general. Like I said, I've been waiting for this movie basically all my life. I've been a big fan of the you know DC, DC comics, Marvel, Marvel comics. I've been a fan of comic books, period, since I was a little kid. I used to collect them. I used to watch the animated uh, shows on stuff on TV. Big fan of those. I love Justice League Unlimited. I thought that was one of the best uh, uh, TV shows, even though it's animated. Just, just, just creatively, I thought it was just one of the best ever. And I really enjoyed it. And I always thought to myself, if they could ever make a movie, <laughs> uh, that would be fantastic. But these characters are great. I, I grew up watching the Super Friends battle the, you know, just you know the battle, you know, Just League batting, battling the Legion of Doom. I love that. I used to watch that Super Friends, I, all of that. I was just a big fan of all of those things, and and to see this actually the culmination of all that into a movie with all the Just League members uh, coming together, it's just fantastic. Now again. You know, it's been a rocky road for the DCEU. It has. There's no disputing that part. It's been a rocky road. But again, for me, I love Man of Steel. I loved uh, BVS. And Suicide Squad, not so much. <laughs> okay, I'll be perfectly honest. Suicide Squad was a disappointment to me. It wasn't as good as I thought it could be. And I think that's mostly because I think studio interference and I think they, I think they rushed the director with it and stuff. So that's why I, I really don't blame David Ayer for that as much as I blame the studio for rushing, and I, and I do blame the studio also for cutting down BVS. The you know the ultimate cut is fantastic. I like the direct the regular version, but the director's cut they should have released that. Okay, I don't know. I know they were had this thing where they wanted the movie to be under a certain time so they could have the many showings and all that stuff. But I think they did a disservice to Zack Snyder by not releasing his cut of the movie, which I think would have been just a better movie. Okay, in my opinion, even though I like the regular edition, but the ultimate cut is a better movie. Okay, and again, people have taken pot shots. Oh, you're not Marvel, a DC, uh, you're doing it all wrong. Okay, you should have solo movies first before you have the big team up movie. Screw you, people. Okay, they're doing it, they're doing it, and I'm enjoying it. Okay, and Zack Snyder deserves a lot of the credit for it. I know Zack Snyder gets a lot of cra gets crapped on by a lot of people, but not by me. Zack Snyder. To me, is the man. I love most of his work. I love Sucker Punch. I loved uh, the Watchmen. It was I got the special edition there. Uh, I got so many different versions of Watchmen. I loved his versions. I love Man of Steel. I said I love BVS, the Ultimate Cut. I just and I'm looking forward to Justice League. Again, Zack Snyder. I I think he's very talented, and I, and I know people give him such oh he's not good at storytelling and all that stuff. Screw you. Okay, again, opinions are like assholes. Okay, everybody has one. So even people, you know. There's people that love Zack Snyder, people that hate Zack Snyder. I love him, okay? I think he's a, a very talented filmmaker, and I'm glad that he decided to do film, okay, to become a filmmaker, because I think he's extremely talented, and I, I'm enjoying what he's putting out. And I'm so looking forward to Justice League and seeing uh, the culmination of his trilogy, which, of course, started with Man of Steel, BBS, and then, of course, it's going to be Justice League. And I really hope that the time, because I remember they said they were going to, Film. There was, a, okay, I guess, they were talking about early stages. They were going to be, they were going to film Just League back to back, like Just League one and two together. But then they, I guess, after the reception that Batman v Superman got, uh, they decided, no, we'll just film this movie and see how it does, and then we'll go from there. And 
hopefully this movie makes money uh, so they can make a, a second one because I'm 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 just I'm all in okay okay I'm all in and I'm looking forward to this and Zack Snyder is a large part of that he created he cast it Gail Gadot as Wonder Woman who I didn't know so all I knew her from was the Fast and Furious movies I thought she was just a skinny model looking chick but she has Gail Gadot has really knocked out of the park and taking the ball and running with it and she's now she is Wonder Woman okay I just I can't picture anybody else now. She really has taken off with it. And he also cast Ben Affleck as Batman. And Ben Affleck, to me, is the best live action Batman right now. Okay, that warehouse scene is a classic, as far as I'm concerned. That warehouse scene is just, it's beyond anything. <laughs> okay, this is the best representation of Batman in live action I've seen. So I love the, you know, again, for Zack Snyder for casting. He cast Ezra Miller as The Flash. Which I thought was great. Ezra Miller is a talented, very funny, very good actor. So I'm glad he got him. He casted Ray Fisher, an unknown, to be Cyborg. Okay, he saw something, so I trust his judgment. He casted Ray Fisher to be Cyborg. So I think Ray Fisher is going to knock it out of the park. And again, he cast Jason Momoa to make Aquaman a total badass. <laughs> and to me, from what I've seen so far, he succeeded on that at every level. Okay, Jason Momoa is going to be one of the standouts. You just know it from the trailers and stuff. He's just, he's Jason, it's, Jason Momoa is a real life rock star, okay? Okay, and his Aquaman, you can tell, is going to be a real life rock star. And I can't wait to see him in this movie and, and his solo movie, which is coming out. I uh, can't wait to see that as well. But again, for all the haters, okay, first of all, before I get to the haters, uh, Rotten rot Tomatoes. I know a lot of people you know, were, I forgot what the final score is, for whatever it was for Batman BBS. But let me just say this with all sincerity. I never depended on Rotten Tomatoes. Me personally, uh, I've never depended on Rotten Tomatoes to tell, to go see a film. In fact, I don't. I can't even remember the last time. I, I'm trying to remember the last time I was on Rotten Tomatoes. I think it was it had been six years or so ago or something when I was at work and I was. I don't know why I was on it, but I've never depended on Rotten Tomatoes to see a film. Okay, I see a trailer. If I like what's in the trailer, I'll go see the movie. Or if it's a subject that I want to see, I'll go see the movie. Okay. Rotten Tomatoes doesn't influence me one bit, okay? People want to let Rotten, Rotten Tomatoes influence them, have at it, okay? That's not, that's not the way I, I judge things. I judge it on my merits, okay? I, if I, there's a movie that I want to see, I'm going to go see it. Perfect example, Flatliners, okay, the remake. I love the original with, with Kiefer Sutherland, uh, Kevin Bacon, Julia Roberts, Oliver Platt, and William Baldwin. I love that movie by Joel Sumatra. I thought it was a really good movie. I really, it really haunted me. It, it spoke to me, and it, I really enjoyed that. So when I saw the, re, you know, heard that it was going to be the remake, and I saw the trailer with Ellen Page, it just really immediately turned me off. <laughs> and I heard that supposedly Kiefer Sullivan was going to be in it. Uh, so I, the first trailer didn't wow me at all. Okay, and then I was waiting to see if they would maybe include Kiefer Sullivan. I don't even know this character, if his character is the same character from the previous movie. I'm assuming that what what it was, but it just really didn't wow me at all. It just really just looked really generic and really, you know, the, the people that you couldn't, I couldn't stand basically in the trailer, just hated the people in the trailer. So what if they experimenting them? I didn't want to see it. So it completely turned me off. So, so I didn't go see it. And sure enough, it died at the box office and they said it was one of the worst movies of the year. And again, that's what it was. But I didn't depend on Rotten Tomatoes to tell me that. I saw the trailer and I said, you know what? This is can't touch the original, okay? Which I really loved, okay? So that's as far as Rotten Tomatoes is concerned. I don't give a crap what they say about this movie. I'm going to see it, okay? I'm going to see it probably, probably four or five times, probably about five times, maybe six, okay? I'm I'm going to see it, okay? Because I support him in this universe, and I like the characters, I like the actors, okay? I like the director, so I'm going to I'm going to support them, okay? And and go see the movie and judge it for myself, okay? So I'm not going to depend on Rotten Tomatoes for anything. And again, I'm going to try to uh, avoid spoilers. You know, I, I saw that I did videos on the SIP clips they released. I, I tried to resist, but I couldn't. I was weak, and I did it. So those <laughs> I mean, the six clips, uh, I did a reaction, I think, to five of them on my other channel, uh, Trey Passer. Okay, if you want to see what I think, I can follow the link below. But... Other than that, this, this is going to be TV spots probably this week, and I think there's supposed to be something on Gotham uh, on Thursday. I think during Gotham this week they had a thing of Ray Fisher and uh, Gal Gadot saying 
We're having a special look at Justice League during uh, Gotham next Thursday. So I'm going to watch that, obviously, because I'm going to watch Gotham. But other than that, I'm going to try to avoid spoilers. I know this, the press have seen it already, and there's early reaction to it and stuff. And, and I'm going to try to avoid it because these people, you know, I want to judge the movie for myself. I don't want anybody else to influence me uh, about the movie. And I know there's people that just can't help it. They have to, they have YouTube channels and stuff. They have to put things out with clickbaity headlines. They have to do it. They just, they can't help themselves, okay? But I'm gonna I'm avoid clicking on them and just and doing this. But I wanna also mention, there was is a great fellow YouTuber, her name is It's Mo, and she's in California, and she did a great video, a, 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 I guess a thank you video, to Zack Snyder for uh, uh, basically uh, creating the DCU, and she has other fellow YouTubers, you know, basically telling what Zack Snyder meant to her, which I thought was a beautiful video. It's like a 17 minute video, I think, or something like that. And it's really good. I, I mentioned it in my other channel on my uh, Paul's, in my uh, embedded blog on my other channel. But what I'll do is I'll leave a link to her, that video. Her her name is, again, YouTube username is It's Mo. And I'll leave a link to her, that video in the description box so you can check that out. Okay, and it's up to her. And she's just a really good fan and she, and you can tell she put her heart and soul into that video, and that's one of the more beautiful videos I've ever seen. And I gotta put that video in my favorites because it just makes you really feel good when you you see the influence that filmmakers have on other people. And the messages that people say, you know, basically thanking Zack Snyder, it was just really heart touching. And, and I think Zack Snyder has, has seen it. I think he might have tweeted about it, which is really good. I'm glad. I hope he does appreciate that. And my condolences again to him and his family and. I, I just want to say again, thank you to Zack Snyder for creating, you know, this great cinematic universe. Okay, I think you're a great filmmaker, an awesome person. And if I had my brothers, I'd have you come back for Just League 2. Okay, it was up to me. Okay, I, cause I think Zack Snyder has just way too much talent to not, you know, and screw the critics. You know, people just hate to hate, okay, and just want to be purpose. And you got the people that are just trolls that basically want to, Stick it to the DCEU every time, every chance they can get, okay? And, and then you have people that say, oh, well, I'm being objective, but I'm still going to call it, I'm still going to be a dick about it. They, they say they're objective, but they're being dicks on purpose, okay? And the perfect example of this, it, there's a video on, on this, on my channel, this channel, where I basically, I told, I said, I think it, the video is a comic book has to uh, screw you or something like that, but it's, it was mostly because of one guy on that channel. I don't have a problem with the other guys on the channel, but especially for Armand, who I, 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 you know, I was a big fan of that channel, but after a while, just to see his, his constant negativity about the DCU, I just got fed up with it. And I just said, you know what, I'm not going to be, not going to watch his, the videos anymore. Okay. It just, it just really pissed me off. Uh, so I just, you know, I just stopped watching the videos because he just really just pissed me off with his negativity and stuff. So I just left that alone. But again, I'm looking forward to this movie. Uh, it has a special meaning for me. And like I said, I remember years ago when they were going to make the movie with J Just League movie when with, uh, George Miller was going to direct it. You know, Mad Max fame, he was going to direct it, but it fell through. And then I remember the I remember the, uh, the uh, Superman uh, movie that they were going to do with Nicolas Cage, which would have been a disaster. I think that Tim Burton was going to do it. That would have been an absolute disaster. I've seen, I think John Snepp, the guy from Collider, did a documentary about it. I think that might have been a disaster. I think that was going to be a disaster waiting to happen. <laughs> just, I'm sorry, Nicolas Cage is not Superman, okay? In any reiteration, okay? So I think fate stepped in, to, and thankfully we didn't have to see that. Uh, you know, I like Nicolas Cage as an actor, but Nicolas Cage is not Superman, okay? I'm just, that's my opinion on that, okay? He is not Superman in any way, shape, or fashion. I'm sorry, okay? Okay? Anyway, uh, I mean, it's too old to play Ghost Rider, too, but... That's another story. But overall, I just want to say, uh, again, this movie means a lot to me. I'm looking forward to it. And I want to, again, say thank you to the actors, to the pr producers, the director, to Zack Snyder, uh, to Josh Whedon, who came in to a finish when Zack had to step away, uh, Warner Brothers for, uh, again, financing this movie. Uh, again, for starting off the DCU, I appreciate that and like I said, as a big fan of DCU and a big fan of Marvel, I love these superhero movies. I saw Thor Ragnarok last week. I really enjoyed it a lot, okay? 
And I'm not one of those guys that say uh, Marvel's better than DC or DC's better than Marvel. I enjoy comic book movies, period, okay? Because I'm a book comic book fan, okay? And I love, I grew up with it. I love watching the TV shows, the cartoons. So I'm a fan either way. And I'm looking forward to this movie. Again, the combination of my childhood <laughs> coming to life on this, on this, on the big screen. And I cannot wait for that moment, the moment that I wait for again, in this movie, I talked about it in my other video I made about my expectations. I made an expectation video for Just League on my other channel called Views and Opinions. If you, no, no, excuse me, not on that channel. That's this channel. On my main channel, Trey Passer, which is, should be up by now. Okay, and you'll see what I want to see in this in Just League movie. I want to see uh, the Superman get resurrected, obviously, but I want to see Batman and Superman shake hands. I want to see Superman smile. Okay, uh, I want to see. Uh, other Justice League members smile as well. I want to see the either Hall of Justice or the Watchtower. Okay, I want to see that. I want to see the reunion, of course, with Lois and his mother. Of course, those are going to be awesome moments. Okay, I want to see Diana <laughs> reunite with her mother as well. Okay, and maybe have the league visit Themyscira, which would be totally cool to see that as well. I think this movie, they're going to be all over the world in this movie. So I, I just can't wait to see this. It's going to rock. Okay, and I can't wait to see Amber Heard as Mera, too, because I heard that she's supposed to be in the final battle as well, which should be freaking awesome. And I can't, and I hope, I know there's that's supposed to be an after credit scene. Hopefully that's a tease of maybe the Green Lantern, maybe Dark Side. Hopefully, maybe, and also I know people are saying that maybe there should be a, uh, maybe the Flash challenges Superman for a race, and maybe that would be like a mid-credit scene. I would totally geek out on that as well. So... Again, this movie means, this means everything to me. Like I said, this is a combination of everything. And now we're a few days away, and I, I'm, I'm all in, okay? And again, thank you, Zack Snyder, okay? Thank you, uh, Josh Whedon. Thank you, Jeff Johns. Thank you, Ben Affleck. Thank you, uh, Ezra Miller, Ray Fisher, Jason Momoa, uh, Gail Gadot, uh, Henry Cavell. Just thank you, uh, Syrian Hands, everybody that's connected to this movie, I would say thank you for making my childhood dream come true to see the Justice League on the big screen. I thought that would never happen, but it's finally happening. And let a, let a guy dream, okay, that one day maybe, I know this is very unlikely to happen, but as a comic book fan, we always wanted to see Justice League versus the Avengers in the comic, and then it finally did it. It was like a four-part series, which I have. It was a four-part series of Justice League versus the Avengers. I would love to see that in live action. That that movie would would kill everything. But I don't think because of the studios and that that would be a geek out moment. Okay, but maybe that would have to come down the line after maybe Justice League three or something. But I would totally geek out if there was a Justice League and Avengers movie together, like a three hour movie. That would be freaking awesome. If that would ever happen, I think I could die in. The, after that movie is made, after seeing that movie, then I can lay down and die after that. <laughs> okay, but if that would ever happen, can you imagine the trailers for that? That would be beyond anything. Okay, so I think I've rambled enough. Okay, but I just wanted to make a video about what I what it means to me. And again, screw the haters. Okay, people are gonna hate. They're gonna hate the movie, even if the movie is the best. Even if the critics say this movie is one of the best movies ever, critics, you're still gonna have haters that are gonna say, ah, oh, it still sucked. Cyborg CGI looks awful. Uh, uh, Jason Momoa is not Aquaman. Uh, he's a surfer guy. He's supposed to, he's Lobo. All this, uh, um, Ben Affleck is not a, he's not a, a good Batman. Uh, I like Christian Bale better. You know, screw the haters, okay? Screw the haters, okay? Okay, haters gonna hate, so let them hate by themselves. They wanna be trolled, let them be trolled by themselves. I'm gonna enjoy this experience, enjoy this movie. And again, I'll probably do a spoilers review of uh, Justice League when I come back and see it for the third time. So that next Saturday, I'll probably do that. And I'll do a review of the Justice League uh, spoiler free on my other channel, Trade Passer, after I see it twice on Friday when I come home. Okay, so, and hopefully I can do a, um, a hangout with uh, some other fellow great YouTubers, maybe Sammy, uh, Jerry G Reviews, and a couple other guys just after we've seen the movie, do a hangout that Sunday and I'm looking forward to it. Anyway, let me know what you think of Justice League and what it means to you and what are you looking forward to. 
feel free to leave comments down below. I have links to my Facebook, my Twitter, and my Instagram in the description box, as well as my main channel, Trade Passer, in the description box. Please check that out as well. And I have a video that why my expectations for Just League. That's on that channel, Trade Passer, my main channel. So check that out as well. And this is Paul saying so long and take care.